It seems inevitable that everyone will be exposed to or contract the Omicron variant. Top U.S. doctors, including Anthony Fauci, say it is likely. Face the Nation host Margaret Brennan joins us live from Washington as she does most Fridays. Margaret, it's good to see you. You know, we are almost two years into this pandemic. A lot of people are asking themselves, are we relying too much on these vaccines to get us through this? What are the health experts telling you? The health experts are telling us, and the CDC just clarified the importance of masks. All masks do some good. The quality of your mask matters tremendously because this version, Omicron, of COVID is so highly transmissible and airborne that a cloth mask won't protect you from inhaling it. Um, it might protect you from spreading it. So some of those things are only now being clarified by health officials. Uh, and as you know, the East Coast has really been hit hard for weeks now by this variant. Uh, we also will talk to Dr. Scott Gottlieb on Sunday about some of the best practices out there. Now, to be clear, vaccines and boosters are uh, universally acknowledged by health officials in the Biden administration to protect you against severe disease and hospitalization. But a number of people uh, out there are reluctant to take the vaccine or give it to their small children. Vaccine rates are low among uh, the five to 12 year old set and for kids like mine, uh, they're not eligible if they're age four or younger. So there's still a large portion of the population unvaccinated, allowing for the vaccine to continue to circulate. So the fact that you got a shot doesn't mean you won't get sick, but it may protect you against some of the more severe forms of this um, or severe outcomes, I should say. A lot of important information, and we thank you so much for staying on top of it. Margaret, we'll see you on Sunday. You can watch Margaret on Face the Nation Sunday mornings at 1030 on WBZ.